Hey y'all, welcome back to Elk River Trains. Uh, I got a couple items in today from Menards and we're just gonna go over one of them today. It'll be a quick review, I'll do a better one in a day or two. Um, I decided to buy uh, a, a car hauler, just, you know, because of the price of it, I wanted to compare it. And, you know, I'm kind of impressed with it. Um, show it to you here. I just ended up getting one, I just wanted to see what they were like. You know, they don't look that big when you're looking at them online. You know, I didn't go into the store. I just kind of purchased one off the cuff. But if you bring this over here and you compare it. Here, let's do it this way, I guess. It's as big as the BNSF, but it's a lot taller. This thing is like four or five inches tall. And it's built really well. And I know these doors operate too. Sorry you guys with the picture there, I'm trying to do stuff around. But it's a very nice looking car. It's got some nice detail to it. I might end up putting some uh, graffiti on it to give it a little character. But for the cost of it, and you could do the buy four for a hundred and something dollars, or you could buy the Lionel or the MTH ones for a hundred and something dollars a piece. And I get it for the people that are looking for the most realistic stuff. Yeah, you're going to buy the more expensive, uh, real-looking cars. But I think this is a good step towards the hobby for a lot of people to get into, especially the younger kids that, and the younger adults that can't afford some of this stuff because it is getting quite pricey. Uh, I also bought a couple more houses that I got to unbox down here, which we'll get to over the weekend, hopefully, and... Those will be going over in this area here. So right now the train room's kind of quiet. And I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on this car. But it is a pretty big car. And I'll do a better review probably this weekend coming up. All right. Have a good day from Elk River Trains. Bye.